Get on in here. It's tea time. Come on in. Don't forget to share our videos. You get to help a lot of people when you do. My microphone cord is hung up on something. So get on in here. There's somebody. There's Rachel and Jen. Y'all get on in here. Kimberly. Melanie's from Mayfield. I know Melanie. Hey, Rachel. Please share. Let's get a bunch of shares. This won't take long. We're going to do a 15-minute tea party time. I've got my tea. How about you? I just don't know that I can handle coffee this afternoon. But this tea smells good. Come on in here. Join us. We're going to have a tea party. And I've got the teapot of topics. So come on in. I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. And don't forget about our calendars. Our big one and our little one. Use 20% discount code FLING071. We've got purple rags on a BOGO. Don't forget those. And we have the Swish and Swipe pack with three purple rags for $19.95. You can't beat that with a stick. I'm telling you. So, let me draw a topic out of our little, little teapot. I'm digging down in here. I got two, but I got, I got, one. no, I think I'll take this other one. I got one right here. I got to move that one back so that I can remember it is the wise old owl tomorrow. Let's see what our topic's going to be today. Let's see. <laughs> this is funny. This is me and my sister talking. She says, I thought we were getting old back when we were just beginning. And we're not getting old. We are wise. <laughs> you know, Fly Lady started 20 years ago. And, you know, I look back on some of the things that pop up in my Facebook feed, the, the memories that pop up. And today I saw a memory of when uh, I was the spokesperson for Habitat for Humanity. That was a fun thing to do. We built a house. Uh, it was, it was, I was the international spokesperson for, for um, Habitat for Humanity. But the main thing, I get to build houses. I get to turn houses into homes all over the world. And it comes from me running my mouth. Yeah, it's just that simple. Running, you know, taking care of the things that we have to do in our home. So 20 years ago, 20 years ago, it just seems like yesterday. Like yesterday. Because when you're having when when you're doing what you love you never have to work a single day in your life even though i work a lot of hours every day and thank goodness thank goodness that facebook messed up the other day and i had to download the video a different way i downloaded it to my phone and i was able to get the video up onto youtube with hardly any problem whatsoever. What would take me two hours or more of sitting with the video, having to watch it and set my timer every two minutes. Mm -mm -mm. But we've learned a lot. Patty and I don't stop learning. We read all the time. And somebody said, well, somebody told me the other day, you, 
you read faster than I do. And I said, no, I don't. I read really slow, but I can hear fast. <laughs> I can hear fast. So I listen to audiobooks. I buy audiobooks by the dozen. I buy 12 credits and then I as I see a book or I get interested in a topic, I've I've read any I love biographies. I love biographies. But I read every lots of different things. Things that here lately I've been reading about North Korea. I want to know what's going on with the people in North Korea. It because it hurts my heart to think that we're hurting them. And I want to know if we are and come to find out it's not just us. It's not the United States that's doing it. There is there's some sadness going on there. But I want to know and I want to learn. And it really does studying different things. I may not have um, a degree from college. I have a couple years in college. I took things I wanted to take, but I realized right quick. You know, I thought about getting a PhD in women's, women's studies, but you know, that didn't really do it for me. I could spend, you know, 10 years of my life getting a PhD and I would probably teach maybe two to 4,000 students a year. Maybe that, I don't even know what the numbers are. Think about a classroom size of 100 people and you teach four to six classes. That's 600 people a semester. Maybe it's not even that many, but I can get on Facebook and do a Facebook Live and talk to you and talk to you and touch thousands of people. I can send out one email and touch thousands and thousands of people. So I like to listen to a book first thing in the morning and then Scott Adams comes on and then I learn about looking at things a different way. And then in the afternoon, I work and I listen, you know, instead of listening to music, I listen to audio books. Yep, sometimes, an audio book will put me to sleep and I'll have to go back, you know, an hour, hour and 15 minutes and, and go back and listen to it again. But I think, I think my, when I was little, my, my father used to let Patty and I listen to encyclopedia stuff on headphones while we slept. I think he thought it would make us smart, but I don't know if that worked or not, but we're not getting old, we're just getting wiser. But this brain contains a lot of stuff over the years. Patty and I have studied a lot of health stuff. Leanne and I have studied a lot of health stuff together. We learn, I've been reading this book, I read a couple of books at a time, Eat to Beat Disease. This is a great book. This has taught me a lot. This is why we're drinking tea. This is why we're drinking tea every afternoon because this tea is my fat burning tea. It's just Earl Grey and some jasmine and other things. But I look at it in my fat burn, burning tea and I might not drink it if it was just me having to make tea for myself, but I'm making tea for you to come to my tea party. So I'm drinking my tea. Let's drink up. But we can never stop learning. You know, when, when I first got organized, I knew I wasn't dumb. I was pretty smart in high school. I've been pretty smart my whole life. I didn't have to study. If I heard it, it stuck. When I hear it, I, it sticks. But you know, time really does fly. And, and on that New Year's Day, when I decided to get organized, and I got out all my Pam and Pecky cards and started trying to figure out what was wrong with me. There wasn't anything wrong with me. There wasn't a single thing wrong with me. 
because I learned differently. And when I realized what the issue was that I had never established a habit, never established a habit, that's when it hit. I needed to establish one habit at a time and establishing one habit at a time and then stringing them into simple routines, not routines that are so large you can't follow them. Simple little routines, three-step routines. It's like a dance to your day. And when you do that, when you take that dance and, and you enjoy the process, it's just like having fun. Dancing through your day. Your home is going to go on automatic pilot. Autopilot. What better way to live than on autopilot? You get up in the morning, you make your bed, you head to the bathroom, and you get dressed in the clothes that you've laid out for yourself. Now, here, here's the things that I do in the morning in the bathroom. I weigh first thing. Write it on my calendar. I chart what I had to eat yesterday on my calendar. And then I get dressed in my clothes and I do my face. A lot of times I do my moisturizer stuff that my sister and brother-in-law talked me into getting. It's just wonderful stuff. I'm going to buy some more today because <laughs> I'm running out. I've been doing this a month almost. And then I do my moisturizing. This morning I did my, um, the, the, whatever it's called. It's, it's another layer you put on. I do it three to four times a week. <sighs> Fix my hair or wash my hair or whatever I have to do. And then I go to the kitchen, empty the dishwasher, get Robert gets his breakfast. Robert makes the coffee. I sit down. Next thing I know, I got a cup of coffee beside me and I start my work and I'll listen to my book and start my work because I have to stay several days ahead on the website and um, <laughs> in the email, I try to get things done. So I'm not, I don't like to feel pressured. I don't like to feel pressure and being behind makes me feel not good. So when I get things done ahead of time, it's all fun because I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting ahead and it's, it's not hard. It's not hard to do. And it keeps, gives me the ability to do what I need to do. So let's drink up. Let's, let's drink to being ahead and getting things done. I grab a load of laundry, put a, you know, August is our laundry month and August will be here in uh, just a few short weeks. August will be here and we're going to practice doing laundry. A load a day keeps Mount Washmore away. All of these things have come to me because I was not stressed out. Because I get things done. My house isn't pulling away from me. I've written... Uh, four books because my house isn't pulling me away from what my focus is of my life to help you to help you and when you find your focus I would have never found my focus had I not been letting my house be on autopilot yep Autopilot works. And when you're on autopilot, it changes everything. And, you know, those, please share our videos. Please. I made this hot pink share poster because you help others when you, when you share our video. Thank you so much. Well, folks, our timer is going to go off in about a minute. And I love taking 
taken 15 minutes to spend some time with you in the afternoon and, and drawing a little topic out of our little, little, uh, wise old owl. <laughs> it's fun that, uh, we wrote in our little comment, we're not old, we're wise. Well, we are wise because we are the culmination of, that's the right word, culmination of the things that we've learned and we continue to learn and we can't continue to stay focused on you. I mean, this is important stuff. I can't believe somebody's watching me from a doctor's office. All our books are on our website. They're, well, they're not, they're all on Amazon, but all our books are, I think we have links to them. This is, um, our 31 baby step book. It's a good start book to start with. My newest book is the chaos cure. It was published in December of last year. And I actually used an editor for this one. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't self publish this one. This one is with seal press. And then sync reflections is my first one. And body clutter is my second one. And this one was a New York times bestseller. So my high school English teacher would probably just not believe that I could write a New York Times bestseller. She'd be shocked. She also sat behind me at church every Sunday too, right behind me. And she could sing like an angel. I loved her voice, but she was a wonder. She is a wonderful lady. She's still alive. She has sitters with her all the time. But I think she still lives in her own home. And my son had her. I was, my son had her and it was her last class. And she told, uh, she told Justin that um, he was the only one in the whole family that could spell. <laughs> she had all of us. He was the only one in the whole family that could spell. <laughs> so folks... We're not getting older. We're getting better because we're wiser. So y'all have a good evening. Do something fun with your husband or boyfriend or kids or you name it. With a girlfriend, just do something fun. Get out there. It's date night and it doesn't have to just be with your husband. It can be with a uh, doing one-on-one -on -one with a child, you can have a good time. But get out of yourself. Get out of your home. It's so good for us to take a drive because Robert and I talk a lot when we drive. Uh, hopefully the feather dusters will be back in stock next week. But I can't promise anything. Don't wait for the feather dusters. We got great shipping now that we've moved back to UPS. Yep, and those, after the after next week, you're just gonna be blown away, those of you who don't live in the United States. You're just gonna be blown away. I don't know that a, the dish towels will be back in stock anytime at all. Don't know about that. Well, y'all have a great rest of your day. I love you all. You're not getting older, you're getting wiser. And thank you for, for listening to me. I hope some of um, our teapot wisdom and our wise oh wow wisdom will help you to understand who you are so that you can fly. Finally, love yourself. You got a bit shoot has to be one word, folks. Uh, I did not find you on bit shoot. Well, I posted several videos already. Anyway, I will look and see if my settings are wrong. Scott Adams had people telling him the same thing. I love you all. I'll see you later. Oh.